Good morning. As you can see, I'm boiling water right now. So, this is what I normally make at home. So, what I use is thin spaghetti. Sometimes I'll actually just use other stuff like fettuccine, regular spaghetti noodles, you name it and stuff. But uh, some of my key ingredients that I use for what I like to call nacho noodles, I like to use minced garlic, you use salsa con queso. I also use like a garlic pal uh, pepper of some sort. Sometimes I'll use like the roasted garlic and herbs. Sometimes I'll use garlic pepper, but sometimes I'll actually use both, but I use like smaller amounts for both. So that way it isn't like overkill on the garlic and uh, whatnot. And then also, once I prep everything together, I top it off with uh, shredded cheese of some sort. Sometimes I'll use Parmesan. Most of the time I use uh, Mexican blend cheese, but yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever works. I like to make it a little extra cheesier after I'm done with everything. Most of the time I like to get uh, the Tostitos brand because it's always readily available. This time I got the Pace brand because it was a little bit cheaper and like, it just like, um, well, honestly, I just wanted to try it out to see if it was any different and see if it was any better or not. Um, honestly... It's hard for me to determine because the last time I put too much uh, seasoning. But yeah, in any case, that's going on with uh, what we need to do. Alright, so anyways, I went and put the noodles in right now while uh, the water is boiling significantly. I'd say about like maybe every 30 seconds or so, usually I'll just like stir it up. And I let it boil, boil for about like, I don't know, say maybe about like... Eight minutes or so. It's already like 3.08, so let's say about like maybe 3.16. I'll check up on it. Yeah, I'd say... Well, okay, sometimes I don't do 30 seconds. I'll sometimes do like stir it up like every minute or so. And yeah, so just waiting for that to finish. All right, so while we wait, we'll just have ourselves a little jam session. Just... Yeah, fuck around. It's almost time. It's already 3.13 on my stove. It's not the right time, but it's the time reference. Eh, what the hell.
right, perfect. All right, now that we finish with that, let's stir it one more time. Yeah, I'd say a total of like maybe three times I've actually stirred this thing. Like, once at the beginning, once like halfway through, and once at the end. All right, so let's go turn this bullshit off. And again, using the salsa con queso. Let's go take this over to the sink. And hopefully not spill any water on me. Do this. Drain the water. Shake it up. No pun intended for you Taylor Swift fans. Or I have to shake it off, not shake it up. Oh well, okay. Well, you get the idea. Alright. Once it's drained, pour it back in. Make sure you don't leave any behind. And... See, I got a little bit of a small batch, so I'm going to have to go a little bit lighter than usual. I like to keep it on the hot side because, well, last time I had noodles, I kind of had them a little bit colder than I wanted it to be. All right, so I'll just put in that. So a little bit of garlic, a little bit of the garlic spice. Now a tiny bit of the garlic pepper. And finally, the salsa con queso. This go liberally on a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason also why I wanted to keep it on the hot part is because this was in the fridge. And when you have that, that's going to significantly cool the noodles a little bit past my liking. All right now that we've gotten that far, let's use this one more time and start mixing it up. And just toss the noodles around. You don't even have to be neat with it. Sometimes you don't even get all the noodles soaking in it. But that's okay. Gives a little bit of a personality, I suppose, but it's more recommended that you do mix it up completely. And be sure not to let the pot fall over. That would really suck because that'd be a waste of the rest of the noodles that I do have. And there goes my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice cheesy little mess. Kind of almost like a macaroni cheese, but using spaghetti now. Alright. I just need a plate to serve it on. We won't be needing the seasonings anymore. It's any of the dry stuff. alone right here can be nacho noodles because the key recipe you gotta have like a cheese sauce of some sort of some sort personally I like stuff that tastes really 
I don't know. I guess seasoning, I guess. So that's why I like salsa con queso a lot. But, I mean, like, you could use, like, regular, like, you know, white cheese queso and stuff. And that'll work, too. Now, the final touch. Is a cheese. Serve as desired and have that cheese. <laughs>